The Believer's Walk of Faith is paid for by Bill Winston Ministries partners and viewers. I'm saying your days of lack are over. Your days of toiling are over. Your days of being without answers are over. Your days of being looking back in your past are over. God's going to have you now with a bright future. You're not going to only have commitment now to the Word of God, but creation is going to come out of the Word of God. Not only creation comes out, success is going to come out, and you are going to be impactful in that neighborhood. God can do things we never thought He could do if we're willing to decree a thing and it shall be established. You won't decree things. You won't say things over them children. This is the glory of God. This is the Eden way you're going to act. You're going to start taking your kingdom authority and rearranging this earth. See, when the kingdom comes, everything changes. Praise God. Boy, that's powerful stuff, right? I could preach that. Yeah, see, the kingdom comes with its own power. It doesn't need to get outside nothing. It comes with its own money. It comes with its own power. It comes with its own joy. It comes with its own peace. And when you preach the kingdom right, God will demonstrate it. Because it, it comes with power. Look what he said over in Mark, Mark <laughs> chapter 1 and verse 20. No, no, 16 and verse 20, pardon me. And they went forth and they preached how many places? Everywhere. The Lord working with them, what? Confirming them, confirming them, confirming them. No, 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 no. You just preach it. He going to come in and confirm it. And this, pre this kingdom is what the enemy does not want preached. He does not want it preached because it changes everything. When the kingdom is preached, a new government comes in. If you know you have ownership of this earth, then you're going to look at the stuff that goes on in it and say, whoa, 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 here, wait, wait, wait. And it's not the people, it's the devil behind it whether they're Democrats or Republicans. Because we get, we get real hung up on that. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. It's time for the church. Come on. It ain't time for the Democrats. And I got some news for you. It ain't time for the Republicans. It's time for the church. It's time for the government of God to take over. Now, I'm not coming against the administration and so forth. I'm not doing that. I'm just saying, wait a minute. The church is putting their hope in a man who can come in there. That, that ain't the deal. Matter of fact, God doesn't like that at all. He's a judge. And he put you down here as his justices. Say Amen. Now, go over there to James, James chapter 1, verse 21. The devil is a liar. So is his mother-in-law. Look what it says. Therefore, wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive with meekness, what? The engrafted word of God, which is what? Able to do what now? is able to save your what? Soul. Not your spirit. That's right, Because see, if I pass a, build, a, a, a ministry or a company on to you that's got 5,000 employees and your soul is damaged, you, I'll come back in a year and you'll have three employees and swore the devil did it. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, no, 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 no. God has a plan that he's got to first get your soul saved. 
Look what he says. Now, this is a saved soul. Look at, look at uh, Proverbs, <laughs> Proverbs 28 and 1. The wicked flee when no man is pursuing, but the righteous are bold as a lion. Well, let's see how bold a lion is. Look at Proverbs 30, 30. Over in Proverbs 30, 30, he says, a lion, which is strongest among beasts, what did he do? He turns not away from any, any. At the face of a fiery furnace, they said this, the God that we serve. Didn't they say that? David said, wait a minute. Who is this uncircumcised Philistine? And I'm telling you right now, what we've been doing is backing up. No, no, we're going to run to the battle. We, we got lion in us. The lion of the tribe of Judah is in us waiting for us to open our mouths and decree a thing. Now I'm telling you this right now, this Bible right here, this thing has it, it, inside of it, it has the words in it that is able to restore your soul. So I'm saying to you, God said something, you can, I said it from hearing from the spirit of God, you can be a millionaire. You can take it or leave it. Say, I'll take that. Now, I didn't say you can have to limit yourself to a million. That's the million is the baseline. I tell you, I'm thinking about starting a millionaire's club. That as people come in the club, that we're going to give them a millionaire's pen. You know, something, a hat or something, a tooth. But anyway, so I'm just saying, no, are you with me here? No. He says, and we read two scriptures. Look at Proverbs chapter 25, 28. He said, he that has no rule over his own spirit is like a city uh, that has broken down and without walls. So what happens is you give people all of a sudden charge over your stuff and something happens. One man gave this man charge over his business. Well, he got him. He was a homeless guy. He got him, took him in, nursed him, so forth, and really took care of him. And then uh, he was doing so well, handling the cash and so forth. So the man said, I'm going to take my family on a two-week vacation. So they went all the way across uh, America to California, wherever they went. And he got back. When he got back, everything was gone. He had an equipment rental place. Everything was gone. And uh, he looked for the man, couldn't find him. Now what happened? The enemy got in that hole. The walls were down. And he got in there and he caused this man to do things that shouldn't have been done. Are you with me here? So I learned that it's sustained performance I'm looking for. That I learned it from this company, IBM, that I work for. They won't promote you because you just had one good year. Because that might have been luck. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I cancel that. Uh, but it's true. But yeah. But my point to you is, is they wait until you did it again with some consistency. And then they know that, that you are at that level of thinking because they feel like this. If they pull you in there and they turn some of the business over to you and you got a hole in your soul, then the next thing you know, the devil will steal their business and seal it through a person that they put in there that wasn't ready to be there. Are you following what I'm saying? So you're going to wait on sustained performance, even if you have a business. 
also, your life is limited by how you see yourself. Your life is limited by your own self-concept, how you see yourself. And like I said, if you think something is true, even though it's false, it's true to you. And if it's true to you, but it's false to God, people will, people will fight you Amen. to protect their error. Your life is limited by how you see yourself. They said Saul stood head and shoulders above everybody else. Uh, we would call it dark, call it tall, dark, and handsome and turn out to be the biggest fool you've ever seen in your life. See, when that pressure comes on you from the devil, from the devil, then, then I'm going to tell you something. It'll tell you who you are. Say amen to that. All right, let me just say this. Faith is a product of revelation. People who climb to the top using their own efforts, it's a work of the senses. But God is giving you knowledge above the senses. He's going to drop it right into your spirit. Say amen to that. We call it grace knowledge. Say grace knowledge. And it comes by faith. Now you're going to have to, somewhere you're going to have to convert, get there, because if you're going to manifest the glory of God, you're going to have to go up to grace knowledge. All right, last thing. How does your garden grow? How does your garden grow? Psalm 1828. For the Lord will light my candle. The Lord will enlighten my darkness. Now, what does that mean? That means that I'm running up on a situation here. I don't know how to solve this thing. So I'm in the dark. Who's going to light my candle? The Lord is. All right, go to 1 Corinthians chapter 2, starting at verse 10. But God has revealed them to us by his spirit. For the spirit searches all things, yea, the what? Deep things of God. Look at this next. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of a man that's in him. So your spirit knows all about you. Even so, the things of God knows no man but who? Spirit of God. So when you come with a situation, you come seeking light. And you begin to come to God and searching the avenues of God for his wisdom to solve your problem. And the thing that you have to remember that inside of you is soil. And that soil inside of you is waiting for one thing. What? Seed. The seed is the word of God. Or the seed can be what God dropped in you as a thought. And you now sow that seed into the soil and sleep and rise night and day. And what's happening? The seed's going to what? Grow up. The answer is going to come forth. Look at Proverbs and chapter 20 and verse 27. The spirit of man is the what? Candle. Say, I have the candle of the Lord searching all the what? Inward parts of the belly. You can go to bed with a question and wake up with an answer because your spirit never sleeps. While you are sleeping, it is searching. And it's going to pull up the answer. I don't care what education level you are. If you are in the kingdom, you are entitled to an answer. He said, call on me and I will answer. So there's no excuse for anybody being in lack or being in whatever case is, we all got access to the wisdom of God and the wisdom of God will bring us the power of God. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Are y'all with me? Your millionaire status has come. 
See, your spirit knows all about you. So your spirit's going to have you do this thing in a different way than my spirit. Because you have different background. You have different uh, gifts. You have so forth and so on. But this, the inside of you is going to rise up exactly what strategy you're going to use to get to your wealthy place. Let me see if I got one more thing. Oh, hey, y'all. Are y'all with me? I'm saying your days of lack are over. Your days of toiling are over. Your days of being without answers are over. Your days of being, watch this, looking back in your past are over. God's going to have you now with a bright future. You're not going to only have commitment now to the word of God, but creation is going to come out of the word of God. Not only creation comes out, success is going to come out and you are going to be impactful in that neighborhood. Now, here's the last thing I want to tell you. Job chapter 22 and verse 28, please. I'm going back to Eden. Say back to Eden. I'm going back to Eden and I'm going back to calling things that be not, come on, help me now, as though they were. So I'm ready now. I'm going to start calling things because I want Jesus and look, he needed some tax money. He said, go look in the fish's mouth. Didn't he say that? Say amen to this. They needed a donkey for him to ride in. He said, go in town. Tell him, I said, loose that donkey and let him go. I'm saying you're going to start rearranging the earth. You're going to start. They're turning jails into boarding schools. Come on now. They're, they're turning uh, West Side into Wall Street. I'm saying you're going to loose the blessing. You're going to release the blessing. The blessing of the one, Genesis 128. He blessed them and he said, now be fruitful. Come on and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it. I'm saying start getting in a habit. I, you know, I read this. This is years ago and my car wouldn't start. It was so cold in, in Chicago. My car was outside. It wouldn't start. And I said, man, and I noticed everybody all the way up the street are getting this guy who was a tow truck and he was charging the money. I said, he's not going to make no money off of me. I've been reading the fact that I'm supposed to act like God. So I, I tell that car, car, I'm talking to you. I got out in the street. I'm talking to you. Wasn't nobody in the street because it was some 40 degrees below zero or whatever. Wind chill. Took my hand, put it back in my pocket and went inside, got a cup of tea, watched a ball game for about half an hour. I said, well, I guess it's about ready now to give God a chance to work. I got up, got my bag, went back outside. Told it. Then I had one of the people to come tell me. He said, Pastor, I got a business Saturday. I said, how'd you get it? He said, I called it in. I said, you hear me, daycare center over on 45th so and so, certain Lawrence Avenue. Come here. And the business came. Now look at y'all looking at me like a bunny. I'm just telling you right now, you better get used to this. This is the glory of God. This is the Eden way you're going to act. You're going to start taking your kingdom authority and rearranging this earth. We're going to topple governments with words. And I'm saying it's time for it to start now because you got this thing running crazy. It's time for us to bring order because the kingdom has come. Now give God praise. Women, you're going to speak up. You're going to decree things. You're going to say things over them children. Say amen to that. And God say, whatsoever you desire when you pray, you believe you receive it and you shall have it. Why? Because you're going to speak to that mountain. See, can't you see? That's what Jesus was preaching. I'm telling you that you can bring in millions with your mouth. I'm saying, wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, why are we doing it, Pastor? Because of trees. You don't believe that. It wasn't deep-seated. But we're going to get studying. We're going to get it into our mind and then go into our spirit so that we can start calling things that be not, come on, as though they were. If 
I can do it going on a healing meeting on Wednesday night, and I can sit up here and begin to call healings out, and people begin to text. I just got this thing. I just got my pain is gone, so forth. If I can do that over a distance, why can't you do something with money? Come on, why can't you call in a business? Why can't you call in a contract? Why can't you call in employees? I'm just saying, come on, let's get out of the box. Let's go crazy for Jesus. Because God is saying, come on, I need some crazy faith in this last hour. We're going to start acting like God. You watch and see, the glory is going to be hitting. And we're going to get new teeth. People are going to go home and woo, uh, got new teeth. You watch and see. Come on. I'm expecting see. I'm expecting. He doesn't need but one. David toppled a whole government. Esther turned around a whole nation. One person can turn Chicago all the way around. But do you have a lion in you? Because if you don't have no lion in you, turn back when they put pressure on you. But I'm telling you where we're going. We're going to the glory realm. We're going to a realm that no devil even exists in that realm, man. Glory to God. I said glory to God. Now stand up. Give God one more praise. Some of y'all ain't impressed with this and you broke and you need to come out of that. And I'm telling you, this is what it's going to take in the last days. God does not want Chicago to be like this. There is no way he has this, all this poverty, this crime, this shooting. We got to stop this. We got to decree things. God didn't meant for this pandemic to shut everybody in. People lose businesses. It's only that the church has been sitting down on their job. We got to get up and start decreeing things. And it shall be established. We're going to start speaking to things, and they're going to start obeying us. Jesus said, uh, God said to Moses, speak to the rock. He was not supposed to hit that one. He was supposed to speak to it because he's supposed to go from glory to glory to glory. Come on, to glory to glory. And when he speaks to that rock, water come out to feed three million people. I'm telling you, God can get water out of a rock again in our lives. God can do things we never thought he could do if we're willing to decree a thing and it shall be established. Give God praise. Well, Lester Summerall, Lester Summerall spoke to that TV station. He got a friend of his. He said, this TV station over here is preaching, is putting out a lot of filth and I'm going to close it. He said, come on up here with me. They came up, they pointed their finger at that station, commanded it to close and to sell to them. In one month, I think it was one month, the station folded and the thing came into their hand and he started broadcasting the gospel out of it. I'm telling you, some of this stuff on tweets, we can speak to it, that the thing won't even work. I'm telling you, what's been put in there will supernaturally come off. I'm telling you, listen, see y'all looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm telling you right now, get the binders off your mind and understand that God is the judge. He wants something to do. Angels are trying to get something to do. Give them something to do. Bring me some money in here. Well, praise the Lord. I trust that you enjoyed that teaching. Now, again, that's manifesting his glory, God's glory coming through you, his full potential coming through you to do what you could never do on your own, to manifest God's glory. That's the way he created us to be in this earth, to manifest him through us. Isn't that a powerful thing? Now, here's a point I want you to remember. If you are in the kingdom, you are entitled to an answer. Now, a lot of times we go through situations in life that we need an answer. And the Bible says God has laid up sound wisdom for the righteous. Where is it laid up? It's laid up in the invisible eternal world. So remember, if you have a problem, you're entitled to an answer. Isn't that powerful? Praise God. Well, that's all we have for this time. This is Bill Winston saying we'll see you next time. Until then, keep walking by faith. I'm saying your days of lack are over. 
Your days of toiling are over. Your days of being without answers are over. Your days of being looking back in your past are over. God's going to have you now with a bright future. You're not going to only have commitment now to the Word of God, but creation is going to come out of the Word of God. Not only creation comes out, success is going to come out, and you are going to be impactful in that neighborhood. God can do things we never thought He could do if we are willing to decree a thing and it shall be established. You won't decree things. You won't say things over them children. This is the glory of God. This is the Eden way you will act. You're going to start taking your kingdom authority and rearranging this earth. Today's dynamic message, Manifesting His Glory, is filled with revelations that will transform your life and bring you into the best of God. But you've only heard a portion of the message. To get this full series in its entirety on MP3 or CD, on MP4 or DVD, order today by calling 1-800-711-9327 or go online at BillWinston.org. Get your copy of this powerful truth today. Hello, this is Bill Winston. I'm inviting you. Doctors Bill and Veronica Winston are dedicated to seeing lives changed through the power of prayer. Our loving and highly trained prayer ministers are ready to pray and agree with you. We know that prayer can turn around any situation in your life. We want to thank our partners who have made this prayer call center possible. If you are not a partner, We encourage you to pray about joining us in partnership and be a part of the wonderful work that God is doing through this ministry. The Believer's Walk of Faith is paid for by Bill Winston Ministries partners and viewers. Now remember, you need faith to get to your destiny. So don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our videos. This is Bill Winston. I love you and keep walking by faith, walking by faith, walking by faith, walking by faith.
Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray. All I need are some better days Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try it anything So I'ma just get by in everything See you in the next life, hope to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray What's wrong with me? I just feel way Pushing on my chest and it squeeze till I suffocate Better change my mindset, meditate It's pretty cool that I'm alive and have better days I could walk, see here I should celebrate, think I could change my mind, maybe elevate Living life, every day, late at night, not okay All I want, and I pray, all I need are some better days Yeah, all I need are some better days Cause all I want, and I pray, I believe in the better yeah. days I'm kinda stuck between a rock and a hard place Do I work hard, or live at my pace? You're only young once yeah, that's all great, but I also want a future where I'm okay Living life is doing lots of cocaine Wait, no, it's living with no shame Wait, no, it's sleeping in on Sundays I guess it's different for each of us and that's okay Well, I just wanna be happy How to get there? Hmm, glad that you asked me I think it's different for everyone Some of us need work, others need fun Some of us need purpose to overcome But try to do what you love when it's said and done Cause there's so many differences in each of us Trust your gut, it can show you what you want Living life, every day, late at night not okay, all I want, and I pray, all I need are some better days.
clear I feel the end and it's near The day of reckoning's here The sound of death and in fear Oh uh. Place all.